Chapter 41 The Signs of Christ's Birth Nephi, the son of Helaman, gave the sacred records and scriptures to his oldest son, Nephi. The Nephites saw great signs and miracles that prophets had said would happen before Jesus Christ's birth. But some Nephites said the time for Jesus' birth had already passed. They mocked those who still believed Samuel the Lamanite's prophecies. The people who believed in Jesus Christ and in the prophets were sad to think that something might keep the prophecies from being fulfilled. The people watched faithfully for a night with no darkness, which was the sign that Jesus Christ would be born. Those who did not believe in Jesus Christ chose a day to kill the believers if the sign had not happened. Nephi was sad because of the wickedness of those who did not believe in the Savior. Nephi prayed all day for the people who were going to be killed. The Lord comforted Nephi and told him that it would not get dark that night. Jesus would be born the next day in Bethlehem. That night, the sun went down, but it did not get dark. The sign of Jesus Christ's birth had come. The people were astonished. Those who had planned to kill the believers fell down and appeared to be dead. They were afraid because they had been wicked. Now they knew that the Savior would be born and that the prophets had been right. It stayed light all night. When the sun came up the next morning, the people knew that Jesus Christ would be born that day. The prophecies had been fulfilled. A new star appeared in the sky, just as the prophets had said it would. Satan still tried to get people not to believe the signs they had seen, but most did believe. Nephi and other church leaders baptized all those who believed and repented. There were glad tidings in the land because the words of the prophets had been fulfilled. Jesus Christ had been born.